Elon Musk's SpaceX is gearing up for its third private astronaut mission to the space station, marking Dragon's second manned mission of the year thus far. In contrast, Russia's Soyuz has yet to send anyone into space, and this trend is projected to continue until year end. This is definitely a significant humiliation for Russia, a country widely regarded as a pioneer in space exploration. Let's find out everything about it in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Earlier this month, Houston-based company Axiom Space announced it's targeting May 8th for the launch of the Axe 2 mission, which will send four people to the orbiting lab aboard a SpaceX Dragon capsule named Freedom. Liftoff is scheduled to occur at 10.43 p.m. Eastern on May 8th atop a Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It'll be the first space mission for the Falcon 9 first stage and the second for Freedom, which first flew on SpaceX's Crew-4 astronaut mission to the ISS for NASA. Axe 2 will launch 13 months after Axe 1, which sent an all-private astronaut crew to the ISS for the first time ever. Like Axe 1, Axe 2 will be commanded by a former NASA astronaut in the employ of Axiom Space, Peggy Whitson, who has spent a total of 665 days in space, more than any other American. The coming mission will build off its predecessor, which was supposed to stay at the ISS for 10 days, but remain docked for six additional days due to persistent bad weather over the splashdown zone. We have about 200 lessons learned that we went through, Axiom Space President and CEO Mike Suffredini said that in today's press conference, this is a process. You do a number of these flights, you figure out what you can do better next time, and then you make the changes and go do the flight. For the bulk of spaceflight history, human spaceflight missions were almost exclusively conducted by government-run space programs. That's changing as the commercial space industry has leaped forward over the last few decades. And at the head of the pack is SpaceX, which has proven it can safely send people to and from low Earth orbit on the Crew Dragon. While SpaceX primarily launches NASA astronauts, the company has started flexing its muscles of late and begun conducting civilian crew flights without NASA input. Civilian flights like these are only going to become more common. Axiom, which strives to create a fleet of commercial space stations, has arranged for three additional private crew missions to the ISS, just like Axe 1, to gear up for the creation of its first station. The company's goal is to make space more accessible to everyone. This really does represent the first step of where a bunch of individuals who want to do something meaningful in low Earth orbit that aren't members of government, they're able to take the opportunity. Mike Suffredini, Axiom CEO and the former program manager of the ISS at NASA said during a press conference, although till costs come down, these individuals are going to need a big fat wallet. Axiom is capitalizing on some crucial timing as SpaceX transitions into a new phase of operation with the Crew Dragon. Originally, SpaceX developed the Crew Dragon for NASA in order to ferry the agency's astronauts to and from the ISS. With an original contract of $2.6 billion, and after more than six years of development, SpaceX successfully launched its first crew on the Crew Dragon in May of 2020, sending two astronauts to the ISS. The ultimate goal for NASA was to offload transportation to the ISS to the private sector, but a secondary goal was for SpaceX to eventually use the capsule to conduct crewed missions of its own. With the Axiom missions, that's exactly what SpaceX is doing, using the protocols and technology developed for NASA to build an entirely separate commercial business for human spaceflight. It's evident that SpaceX is continuously pushing the limits of the space industry while Roscosmos appears to be approaching its threshold. The launch of the Soyuz MS-24 spacecraft, which is Russia's sole crew mission for the year, is slated for the latter half of 2023. The original three Russian member crew for the scenario was named in May of 2021 and originally assigned to the Soyuz MS-23 mission but moved to MS-24 due to the Soyuz MS-22 coolant leak accident and that required MS-23 to be launched uncrewed as a replacement. Remember that situation, Russia has two Soyuz on the ISS that have leaked within two months. Roscosmos attributed the link to an external impact. The spacecraft cast off from the ISS in late February and Roscosmos disposed of the ship, allowing it to burn up over the Pacific Ocean. Micrometeoroid strikes can be a danger to any spacecraft, no matter who operates them or what shape they're in. But experts remain unconvinced by Russia's explanation for the incidents and 
and worry that Roscosmos is hiding deeper problems. And these are not Russia's only malfunctions. In 2018, a Soyuz crew spacecraft sprang a tiny hole, which astronauts patched up. Two months later, a Soyuz rocket suffered a booster failure in an unrelated incident. The three leaks within a few years, says McClintock, point to an overall decline of the Russian space program. The odds of meteors dampening two spacecraft cooling systems but nothing else on the ISS in such a short period of time are very close to zero. Anyway, this means the SpaceX Dragon is gradually replacing the Soyuz, marking a significant shift in the space industry. For decades, the Soyuz was a reliable means of transporting astronauts to and from the ISS, but as technology evolves, it's becoming apparent that the SpaceX Dragon is the future of manned spaceflight. The Soyuz spacecraft was first introduced in 1967 and has become synonymous with Russian space exploration. It's been the primary mode of transportation for astronauts to the ISS since the space shuttle was retired in 2011. The Soyuz does have an impressive track record, over 140 manned missions and only one fatality in history. However, as the Soyuz ages, concerns have risen about sustainability and the need for an updated spacecraft to take its place. Importantly, Russia's space fleet is largely designed to be expendable. The history of its series of Soyuz rockets and crew capsules goes back to the Soviet era, though they've gone through upgrades since. Its Progress cargo vessels also launch atop Soyuz rockets. The cargo ships, crew ships, and rockets are all single-use spacecraft. Anatoly Zak, creator and publisher of the independent publication Russian Space Web, estimates that Roscosmos launches about two Soyuz vehicles a year, takes about one and a half to two years to build each one, and doesn't keep a substantial standing fleet. Enter the SpaceX Dragon, the Dragon spacecraft developed by SpaceX, a private space company founded by tech entrepreneur Elon Musk back in 2002. It made a maiden voyage in 2010 and since then has become the major player in the space industry. The Dragons made numerous supply runs to the ISS and in 2020 it made history by carrying NASA astronauts to the station, marking the first time a private spacecraft took humans to orbit. The Dragon boasts several advantages over the Soyuz. First and foremost, it's reusable. After a successful mission, the Dragon can return to Earth and be refurbished for another flight. This not only makes it more cost-effective, but more sustainable. The Soyuz, on the other hand, is not reusable, which means a new spacecraft must be built for each mission. Additionally, the Dragon has a larger cargo capacity, which means it can transport more supplies and equipment to the ISS. Another advantage of the Dragon is advanced technology. The spacecraft features an autonomous docking system which enables it to dock with the ISS with no human intervention. That reduces the risk of human error and makes the docking process more efficient. The Soyuz, in contrast, relies on a manual docking system which requires skilled astronauts to maneuver the spacecraft into position. In the future, when SpaceX develops Starship successfully, looks like Soyuz will probably be left behind. And that's about it for today's episode. We appreciate your attention and your viewership. Be sure you like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other episodes from us here at Alpha Tech. Be safe and we'll see you next time.